Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. 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 Okay. okay. Um, so, you will have your midterm by Friday. Pero ano lang. Uh, no worries lang kasi ayun na lang midterm. Uh, we just have to tackle a few topics and then uh, today and Wednesday and mo exam lang din ta by Friday. So three groups will report this afternoon and uh, mo request lang ko na while you are a reporting, please turn on your camera. So, so good da, group one. Please share your slide. And then you can start your report. Share lang, share. Reporter ka? Reporter ka? Ah, sige. Katong uban nga available ang camera. Turn on your cam. Kung it's your, ano, it's your time to report. So, group one. Wait lang, Mama. Sige, no problem. So, good afternoon, everyone. Today, we are going to present the advantages and disadvantages of different modes of transportation, air, airways, waterways, and roadways, road transport. So here are the reporters, reporters for today. Azar Khan Sanjay, Flores Jello, yours truly Raipon Dalshala, Valle Jamaica and Villarmino John Paulo Gilbert. Advantages and disadvantages of airways. So advantages of airways. First is high speed. Air travel is the fastest mode of transportation, allowing for quick movement of passengers and goods. Second is global con connect connectivity. Air travel provides easy access to destination worldwide, facilitating trade and tourism. Third is safety. 
Air travel is considered safe due to strict regulations and maintenance standard. And lastly is access accessibility. Airports are conveniently located, making air travel accessible to a large population. Next, we have the disadvantages of airways. First disadvantage will be cost. Air travel can be very expensive, limiting accessibility for certain demographic groups. Another disadvantage of airways will be environmental impact. Since air travel contributes to climate change through greenhouse gases emissions, Another will be limited accessibility. Some areas lack access to air transportation, hindering development and service. Next would be security concerns. Since airports have security measures, it is time consuming. That's why it is another part of the disadvantages of airways. And at last would be weather deficiency. Adverse weather conditions can cause delays and disruptions to air travel. Next would be the advantage and disadvantages of waterways. So first advantage of waterways would be cost effectiveness. Water transport is a cost effective option for transport both in goods over long distances. Another advantage would be fuel efficiency. Water transport efficiency. Next would be reduced traffic congestion. Waterways provide an alternative route reducing congestion on roads. Next is accessibility. Waterways reach, uh, reach remote areas, promoting trade and economic development. And lastly, is we have suitable for book cargo. So water transport is ideal for transporting large quantity of book cargo. So slide. So. Wait lang mga mga kahihina yung net, ma'am. So, the disadvantage of water race. So, these are the following disadvantages, no, of water race. First is we have limited speed. So, water transport is slower than air or rail transport making it less suitable for time-sensitive goods or passenger. Next is seasonal limitation. So waterways uh, face some seasonal constraint that affects um, usability, uh, followed by infrastructure requirement. So developing and maintaining waterways infrastructure can be expensive and time-consuming. And second last is lack, lack of flexibility. So water transport is confined to existing waterways with fixed routers and routes and schedules. And lastly is we have vulnerability to weather condition. So severe weather condition can disrupt water transportation and transport operation and cause um, delays or damage. Next, we have the advantages and disadvantages of roadway, roadways or road transport. Next. Next up. 
the advantages of roadways uh, or road transport versus the flexibility in door-to-door -door service. Road transport provides direct access and flexibility in routes and delivery schedules. Versatility. Next is versatility. Roads accommodates various types of vehicles, allowing for the transportation of different goods and passengers. Next, the accessibility. Road networks cover vast areas, providing connectivity even in remote and rural regions. Quick delivery. Road transport is faster than water transport and can offer timely delivery for time-sensitive goods. Economic development. Well-developed road infrastructure supports trade and commerce impacting air quality and climate change. <laughs> so for the disadvantages of roadways and road transport, first is the traffic congest congestion, that roads often experience heavy traffic, resulting in delays, increased fuel consumption and pollution. May, second is the maintenance of infrastructure cost. Building and maintaining road infrastructure can be costly, unlike sa katong airways o katong waterways na wala kids like dalan nga ginag-construct bago maguba. And sa third is the limited capacity. Road transport has limitation in terms of capacity leading to congestion and reduced efficiency. So, di siya pala sa waterways nga makakakiri o dagko ng mga buka. And sa safety risk, Road transport carries risk of accident, collisions, and injuries. Ang ang kana ni is pangit lagi mag say magbangga magcollision. And some ang ako ako yung na opinion nga kung makakita para mga yaka injuries ang araging motorcycle. And sa kalima is ang environmental impact road road vehicles contribute to air pollution and greenhouse gas emission impacting air quality and climate change. Muna siyang mag-cost sa igang kayo. So, mara ko sa disadvantages. So, uh, thank you, Group One. So, Kato, no? Uh, Patralagi mo. O patralagi mo ako report. Can say, ano? Lima, man, ma'am. Kalima mo? Si Raipon Valley Azar Conflores o si? Villarmino. Si Villarmino? Siya itong last mo. Ah, siya itong last. Okay. Ay, oo. Alright. Villarmino. So, uh, each mode of transportation has its advantage and disadvantages. So, it's up to the commuter, it's up to the person who will travel kung unsa yung i-prefer ng mode of transportation. Uh, base na lang din na siya kung... Uh, the length of travel as sa kalayoon kung uh, the volume of travel kung pila mo kabuok na mo travel and then asa sa kadaghan ayun yung i-travel your load your load sa inyong pag-travel and then he will assess uh, which mode of transportation best suited Kay, um, we are given uh, the government is provided providing us modes of transport 
nga maka-benefit sa um, uh, sa people within the country. Uh, there are also places nga dili uh, the mode of transport is not um, open bitaw. Na yung bang lugar na you can reach there through plane but then you will also travel by road tungod kay uh, the airport is layo or yapon. So you heard uh, the place is given na gitagaan ng airport but then uh, roads are provided for you to reach your destination. Or first magbarko ka and then next you will have your magplane ka and then you will go through road. Mostly nga naman ang atong mode of transport. And any question? I think wala na ma'am. Wala na. Ah, uh, sige. Plus proceed sa group 2. Group 2 ano share slide. Pwede na po mag-start, ma'am. Okay, you can, you can. Sige, start na. Um, a pleasant afternoon, everyone. We are the group two, and we are one of the reporters for today. So first, allow me to introduce to you all the reporters for today, starting with yours truly, Manya Stephanie Grace, next are Amba Jacqueline, Javier Juliana Fay, Sir Dario Mary Ann, and Landar Joppet Jones. So for today, we will be discussing this so these three topics, traffic intersection signs, traffic warning signs, and destination signs and signals. But first, allow me to um, tackle first the road traffic signs. So the importance of road signs have been recognized worldwide because of the increasing incidence of road accidents due to the volume of traffic and bad habits of motor vehicle drivers. So the United Nations Conference on Road Traffic was held in Vienna, Austria on October 7 to November 8 of 1968 under the auspices of UNESCO. The, particip the participating countries, including the Philippines, agreed on the Road Traffic Conference to have a separate convention for road signs and signals as necessary to facilitate international road traffic and to increase road safety. On June 6, 1973, Presidential Decree No. 207 was issued by then-President Ferdinand E. Marcos, which states and partially quoted, whereas um, the Philippines is a signatory, have agreed to accept the system of traffic, road signs and sig signals and symbols and road markings described in said conventions, and to adopt the same as possible. Whereas there is an urgent needed for the ratification of these conventions in order to adopt internationally prescribed uniform rules and tra of traffic and road signs and signals in the Philippines. So ratification means the act of signing or for giving formal consent to contract or an agreement, making it officially valid. So whereas the ur urgent need for adopting the uniform traffic rules road signs and signals as prescribed in the conventions is made more necessary because of the considerable number of foreigners and tourists that are now operating motor vehicles on Philippine roads. So after more than 20 years, although majority of the world countries have already applied the recommendations of the Vienna Convention, some countries like USA and the Philippines have still difficulties in implementing the international traffic system. So the three efficacy principles of uniformity, homogeneity, and simplicity are not being enforced. 
Instead, a very complicated mixture of international and U.S. rules is adopted, which leads to misunderstanding and consequently non-respect of the rules. So uniformity includes the prohibition to use unofficial signs and markings. Homogeneity requires that in the same conditions, the user notices signs or marking with the same volume, same importance, and located according to the same rules. So simplicity is to avoid superabundance of signs that overstrain the drivers, having the tendency to neglect the given instructions. So sometimes drivers cannot read, understand, or register the meaning of the signs or markings. So this road signs actually has the following objectives. First is to lead to a safest road traffic. Second is to facilitate this traffic. Third is to indicate or to remind some particular traffic rules. And fourth, to inform the drivers how to use the highway. So let us now move forward to the traffic intersection signs. So Article 3 of the right of way of right of way and signals of the traffic code is not clear. Therefore, it is necessary to define the right of way rules at the junctions and intersections. The right of way can be reduced to three possible situations. First is the general rule. So when the vehicle approaches an intersection from different roads, the driver on the left should yield or provide the right of way to the vehicle to the vehicle on the right, except as otherwise here and after provided. So general rule, right priority sign W2-1 warning sign of the intersections where the driver has to give way to the vehicles approaching or entering the intersection on the right. Second is the priority road. So any vehicle running on this type of road has always the right of way against the vehicle coming from the right or, or from the left, except as otherwise provided. So priority road, sign 12-9, Pang 12 warning sign of the intersections where the driver has priority against all vehicles. The thickness of the principal road is bigger to avoid confusion with another sign Sign stop or giveaway has to be located on the uh, on the other road. So sign 12-9 is located um above in this presentation. So money shock in upper picture. So priority sign P1 and P2 is to inform the driver that he is driving on a priority road or street and that he has the right of way. So next is the non-priority road. The driver of any vehicle entering a highway from private road shall yield the right of way to all vehicles approaching, entering, or in the intersection. The stop sign is used to ensure caution before in entering an intersection. A full stop is necessary for safety. So the R1-1 sign cannot be used alone. It is announced by r one Dash 2A sign installed before it before the intersections like a warning sign. So the giveaway sign notifies the obligation of the driver to give way to all vehicles coming from right and left without the obligation to stop. The use of this sign supposes that the sign triangles are effectively implemented and maintained. It is also supposed that the, gi the giveaway sign is announced by R1-2B sign located before the intersection like a warning sign. So exception to the right-of-way rules. So vehicle, first is vehicle drivers entering a highway from private road must yield the right-of-way to all vehicles approaching on such highway. Second, the driver of vehicle upon a highway of any category must yield the right of way to police or fire department vehicles and ambulances operating an unofficial business and the driver thereof sounding audible signal of their approaches. And third, the indications of traffic signals of a traffic officer prevails against the right of way rules. So in an intersection where some flows of traffic can be in conflict, it is suggested that the drivers must be first notified on in time of the existence of intersection, second, informed of the applicable right-of-way rules, and third, be able to see the vehicles approaching upon the other roads.
So the first two prescriptions will be implemented by means of road signs. The third is by sight triangles. So location of the intersection signs. On rural, rural areas, the normal distance between the intersections and the warning signs is 150 meters. This distance can be modified according to site conditions and the free operating speed. It can reach up to 400 meters on highways with good visibility and where the speed can be high. There are exceptional cases where two, every, two very near successive intersections can justify location distance shorter than 100 meters. So when signs are located more than 200 meters from an intersection, it should be repeated at half distance and the two signs should be equipped with distance signs. So here are some of the intersection signs. So you can see the intersection ahead, T junction ahead, Y junction ahead, Grand about ahead or rotunda, side road junction ahead, approach to intersection, approach to inter in intersection side, and their approach to intersection merging traffic. Intersection signs need to know I uh, need to have a distance indication. So road distance indication signs are vital for driver safety and traffic flow. They indicate distance to intersections and junctions, ensuring smooth navigation. So let's explore their specific including placement, design, and installation regulations. So distance indication sign roads. Signs located between 100 meters and 200 meters before an intersection do not have distance signs. Where the distance is shorter than 100 meters or greater than 200 meters, it should be indicated on the distance sign. The distance is rounded to the nearest 50 meters if it is greater than 200 meters. And between 50 and 100 meters, it is rounded at, uh, rounded. 250 or 100 meters. So next, I wait now. Uh, additional information. Kabantay mo anang yellow nga box something as cement. Most likely gakakita na to sa roads. Tawag ana is kilometer markers. And yes, matawag na to na siya nga distance indication sign, uh, which serve siya as indication of distance along a roadway. And kilometer markers are essential distance indicators found on roads and highways worldwide. They provide numerical information about the distance traveled or remaining to a specific destination. These markers play a vital role in navigation, emergency response, and road maintenance. So next slide, please. So the road signs R12A and R12B are always located with a distance sign. The distance is rounded to the nearest 50 meters if it is greater than 100 meters. And between 50 and 100 meters, it is rounded to 50, 75, and 100 meters. So next slide, please. The distance are located under the road signs. The road signs should be mounted clear of roadside visitation and clearly visible under low headlight illumination by night. The height of the sign base is one meter above the nearest edge of the travel way, but this height could be modified to improve visibility. On the intersection island, the signs can be installed less than one meter to prevent them from masking or uh, obstructing the visibility. So next slide, please. In urban areas, the distance between the successive intersections is variable, including the warning signs. Road signs are located between the intersection and the preceding junction. When the distance is smaller than 50 meters, it is rounded to the nearest 10 meters. On curb signs, signs are located back from the face of the curb, not less than 30, 30 centimeters or more than 1 meter. So next slide, please. In urban areas with public illumination, the signs can be placed at 2.30 meters above the top of the curb. Where pedestrians or parking of vehicles is not allowed, the rural area rules are applicable. So basically, roads, distance indication signs are integral part of the road infrastructure, providing crucial information to drivers about upcoming intersections and junctions. Their placement and design 
follow specific rules to ensure optimal visibility and driver awareness. By adhering to these guidelines, road authorities aims to enhance road safety and facilitate efficient traffic management. So next slide, please. Also, side triangles is important in intersection. Uh, side triangles, also known as side distance triangles, are geometric areas associated with intersections or conflict points where two vehicles intersect. These triangles are formed by connecting three points. Two points represent the edge of the intersection, intersecting roadway or the limit from where the drivers must notice an adverse vehicle. And the third point or the summit of the triangle is the conflict point or the location where the two flow intersect. To ensure optimal visibility, road intersections are designed based on free operating speed which matches realistic vehicle speed. Side triangles are associated with conflict points between vehicle flows, allowing drivers approaching intersections to see each other and prevent collision. So next slide, please. The purpose of side triangles is to ensure drivers have clear visibility at intersections to make safe decisions and prevent collision. They define the minimum required visibility for drivers to see approaching vehicles and potential obstacles. Factors like vehicle speed, road signs, and safety considerations determine the, the dimensions of side triangles. Engineers consider these factors to provide sufficient visibility for safe intersection navigation. So next slide, please. So the giveaway signal applies to vehicles on the secondary road, which serves inter-district traffic and connects primary roads. Visibility should be checked for safe Cross, crossing or merging maneuvers by vehicles on the secondary road. So next slide, please. So there are three forms of intersection signs. So first is the triangle shape with one vehicle vertical. These signs are warning signs used to indicate potential hazards. So for example, the yield sign or the giveaway sign. Second is the triangle shape with one angle at the bottom. These warning signs have a wider red area and warn up, I warn of upcoming conditions. Example is the merge sign, which is kanang makita ninyo nga diamond something like color yellow. So third one is the square and octagonal shape. These signs are used for regulatory purposes at intersections. So for example, the square shape nga signs is the crosswalk sign and the stop sign for octagonal sign. So for the traffic warning signs, next. So warning sign used to inform drivers and pedestrians about the hazard present in the road or, the, or on the sidewalk. The warning signs are presented as signs with a red outline and an upward triangle, and there is no exception to these rules, and permanent signs must ha must never have a yellow background, only temporary signs use the color yellow. So yung mga triangle uh, signs na may kita natin sa road na merong red outline, yun yung uh, warning signs, and usually uh, white background ang meron sa triangle if makakita kayo ng yellow background, ibig sabihin nun, uh, for temporary lang yung warning signs na yun. So, next. So, objectives of warning signs. The purpose of a warning sign is to attract attention to areas where a driver's awareness must improve due to barriers or dangerous location related to the structure of the highway including its curves, humps, dips, and narrowing. So, uh, mag makakita kayo ng warning sign if... Um, may curve ahead ng road or may humps or magbabawas ng lane na yung road. Then, second, road conditions like slickness, rock falls, and other similar concerns. So, meron din kayo nakikita ng warning signs if uh, slippery ba yung road. Then, third, other transportation facilities such as a bridge opening, an area around an airport or railway crossing, and etc. Fourth, Traffic flow pedestrian crossings, children areas, and the presence of a two-lane roadway after a multi-lane highway. Then fifth, lo local conditions like factory exits, fire exits, etc. 
Next. So these are the warning signs for so first merging traffic. So this indicates that uh, the drivers should be prepared to merge with vehicles on a separate road. Then hanging bridge nabo warns so the driver na they are approaching a unhanging bridge ahead of the road. Then traf approaching traffic light. So approaching traffic light. Um nabo warns the driver that they are approaching an intersection where it is controlled by a traffic light, then railroad crossing. So, uh, kapag yung ahead ng road is merong uh, railway, then road under repair. Um, if there is if there is a road repair ahead of the road, so nagawaan sa driver para maging alert sila sa mga potential dangers and disruptions na dulot ng road repair. Then pedestrian crossing. Um, Para ma alert yung driver and um, nagu warn na they should pay more attention to surroundings nila since uh, merong designated uh, area na magko cross ang tao. Then next, animal crossing um, to warn the drivers that they are approaching an area where animal often cross the road the narrowing road indicates that the road ahead will not be as wide as the road they are currently on then rough road um the indicate na na yung road ahead is bumpy and they need to slow down uh, steep downward road and steep upward road indicates that the road ahead is steep downward or upward then slipper, slippery road posted in areas where a slippery condition might exist next then river ahead, uh, nagawaan sa driver na yung road ahead is near uh, river. Then roundabout, roundabout ahead uh, indicates that the driver is approaching an intersection which is roundabout. Then two-way road, uh, nagawaan sa driver na they are already leaving a one-way road and now entering a two-way two -way road. Then caution, falling stone. Um, Warn the drivers that there might be falling or fallen rocks um, from the side of the road. Then dangerous curve, dangerous left curve. Next. Dangerous right curve uh, indicates that there is a dangerous um, bend to the right or left of the road ahead. Then dangerous double curve at left, dangerous double curve at right indicates na meron namang double bend from the right or left of the road, then warning crossroad, entering crossroad, entering major crossroad indicates na another road crosses the main highway ahead. So sa entering major crossroad uh, indicates na mag-approach na yung driver sa road na intersection na merong major, major road. So ang nasa major road na vehicles, yun yung may priority sa road. So next. So curve to right, curve to right, curve to left indicates that the road ahead will curve to the right or to the left. Then airport vicinity uh, indicates that the driver is approaching a road near the airport, then narrow road if magbabawas na ba yung road ahead ng lane. Next. So fixed message signs includes detailed direction for drivers on the roadways as well as lane occupancy and destination warning signs. Then signs alerting drivers of the direction changes. Then third, only directional and kilometric indicators as well as warning signs for hazardous circumstances are posted at crossroads on low traffic rural roads. So road signs should not carry commercial advertisement. There are situations where almost no signs are installed because they are being vandalized or taken away as building material. So, uh, if may mga roads kayo na dadaanan na need ng warning signs pero uh, there are no presence of any traffic warning signs, ibig sabihin nun, uh, tinanggal na siya since uh, na-vandalize na or uh, kinuha na nung mga people living near the area. So, next. So installation of regulatory and warning signs. Installation of warning and regulatory signs is done cautiously since overuse of them decreases their authority. So first, oversized signs on expressways should have white letters and green backgrounds. 
Second, large signs effectively address extreme speed, hazard, accident, and competition. Third, avoid excessive large signs as they reduce effectiveness. Fourth, non-reflectorized signs are suitable for school zone markings, parking control, and temporary warnings in daytime or street lightning. Next. So fifth, the traffic manual recommends mounting two unreflectorized and reflectorized black on white signs on the same standard for different speed limits. Sixth, illuminate or reflectorize important night signs. Seventh, the sign message must be simple. And last, no more than three statements about directions or des destination should appear on a single signboard. So next. So effectiveness of road signs. So as mentioned earlier, uh, too many signs will make all of them less effective and large signs overwhelm any smaller ones. Thus, signs often fail to accomplish its main purpose. For example, stop signs in residential areas are ineffective with most motorists making road stops and few ignoring them. So, uh, yung mga stop signs sa mga, sa mga areas where um, drivers just make road stop uh, yung road stop is yung hindi sila mag full stop mag so slow, slow down lang sila uh, hindi siya effective sa mga areas na yon so second sign messages like slow children at play does not affect speed selection of sign message is important because drivers react to them differently so uh, may mga signs tulad ng slow children at play na hindi nag slow down ng mga drivers so need ng proper selection of sign message para mas ma sunod ng driver yung um yung pag slow down nila so next so third the slippery when wet warning sign is not threatening but effective only when accompanied by flashers so yung flashers yung mga hazard light sa mga vehicles so fourth signs with incorrect information like safe speed indicators can cause drivers to ignore messages believing they are being deceived. So, if may mga warning signs ng speed limits, kunwari may speed limit na signs na hindi nakikita ng driver na appropriate para uh, mag-cross sila sa road na yon. Like, for example, sa steep upward na road, then may may, sign, may speed limit signs na na nakalagay then nakita nila na hindi nila, hindi kaya ng vehicle nila na sa speed limit na yon so isipin nila na hindi totoo yung mga ganong signs so need need um need maglagay ng signs na um na kaya ng driver kasi kapag ka hindi uh, iisipin nila na hindi totoo yung signs na nakita nila then last, drivers will ignore all signs indicating, indicating ongoing construction or maintenance work when none is actually in progress. So same sa number four, um, kapag nakakita sila ng road repair and nag, nandun na sila sa ahead ng road, nakalagpas na sila and wala sila nakita ng mga road repair, iisipin nila na, na, iisipin nila na hindi totoo yung mga signs na nakikita nila. So yun, next. So, destination signs and signals. Next slide po. Ay, am I audible po? So, yes. for direction signs. So, direction signs are divided into four categories. First is the advanced direction sign, intersection sign, reassurance of confirmatory sign, and the last one is entering and 
exit of urban area. So, next slide po. So, the first one is, maunay siya, cut off, ano po, advanced direction sign example. So, this one, you can see this po, like, an example of this, kay kanab itong makita ninyo sa Marcos Bridge po. Kana, uh, before mo cross sa, ano, sa save more. Next slide po. And the next is intersection direction sign. So, kani also, same sila, like katong first sign and kani siya nga sign, intersection direction sign is makita niya po ninyo sa uh, Marcos, an example of it will be seen sa, ano, sa Marcos Bridge po when crossing to, ano, to save more sa intersection. Next slide po. And confirmatory sign. So, kani siya, confirmatory sign is like, I will just give an example po. Kanam itong sa bulwa po. Anong makita ninyo? Like, 20 kilometers ahead CDO. Na na. Or CDO na siya. Na na. So, next po. So, ay. Baksa po. Ah, okay na di ay. Next slide po. So, these, these green signs with white letters, border, and arrows are used for national highways. So, katong nakita na itong example ganina. So, for expressways and freeways, blue background signs are used. The letter symbols and borders are all white. For small rural roads, white background signs with black letters, numbers, and borders are needed. So, moto iyahang ano yung standards na geset po pag maghimo og kaning direction sign sa ato ang roads so the driver should be informed that next slide po uh, next slide sorry po naglag akong screen so Entering and exiting urban areas. So it is necessary to advise all vehicle drivers that they are entering an urban area where the condition of traffic is different. The driver should be informed that he is entering the city of example CDO and to refrain from being attracted by anything except to look at the shop signs only to know where he is. So ang kanisha, ang first niya gingon is, it is advice for drivers when they are about to enter a city, which is dagan magyud makita sa city, which can be very distracting to the driver. So it is advice na sa mga drivers, they should only look for ano, shop signs where they can find where they are na. So, dili dapat sila ma-disrupt. So, the sign EB10 is rectangular in shape with white background, red and white borders, and dark blue letters. At the end of the city proper, another sign EB20 notifies the driver that he is leaving the place and that he can resume his speed under the traffic regulations. So, kaning EB10 is muna yung makita when ano, the driver is entering the city. So, kani siya, naku example ani, pero mura gula, naku nabutang ang pick. So, same ato, like katong makita ninyo nga, entering CDO, and muna siyang EB10. Well, ang kaning EB20 is, muna siya ang imong makita na sign, recognizing nga you are leaving the city proper. So, these two signs limit the area where the attention of the driver is concentrated. Outside the city, outside the city limit after EB20 sign, the condition of driving will be different, giving the driver the signal to resume his speed. So, next slide po. Informative signs. The objectives of this sign is to give the driver miscellaneous information useful in his driving and general knowledge. The signs are square in shape with dark blue background, white symbols, and letters bounded by white borderline. Informative signs may include red symbols and bars notifying the end of prohibitions, etc. Next slide po. So here is an example of ano po, informative signs. So the first one is pedestrian crossing like ganina na mention na siya earlier by Juliana pero appeal ni siya sa ano direction signs Japan. So 
pedestrian crossing. So the pedestrian crossing sign is a warning sign. So like atong na-mention niya na it allows the driver to know nga na area where people crosses the road so they should slow down. So the next one na ano, informative sign is kanisha kaning for disabled person. So the universal symbol for accessibility, this symbol indicates access for individuals with limited mobility including wheelchair users. So kanisha guys is kaning disabled person is it allows people na kanisha is for designated disabled person bitaw. So next sign next the next informative sign is emergency telephone so if there is a public telephone booth ahead it can may be used for emergency calls so it kalang naagi po na siya like driver should know this types of signs so like whenever an emergency arises they can ano, know where they can have an access quick access to telephones so the next sign is petrol pump so there is a petrol pump ahead. If you if you are running low on fuel, then you may get fuel tax. So kani siya nga sign is more an indication if you need fuel nam kita ni mo siya. It's a sign na dool na ka sa isa ka gasoline station po. Next slide. So bus stop. There is a bus stop ahead. Next or below to this sign, there might be additional information available about the routes for that one can get a bus here. So kanisha guys, if ever like you ended up ano ka nag uh, munaog ka or mag commute ka, kanisha nga sign is an indication of bus stop where you can ride bus to your destination. So the next one na sign is first aid. So there is a dispens dispensary ahead which can provide first aid services. So if ever emergency or there's an accident, like drivers or commuters should know this sign so they can know asa nila asa sila maka quickly get first aid na access po next slide so tea and snacks road side shops are available to provide light refreshments like tea and snacks so it is kani also is important especially in long ano long journey or kadang long travel so usually good bon magin ang drivers and people so Seeing this sign, it will indicate that two kilometers from ano asa mo is na amo makita na snack bars or mga cafes. So hospital. The next sign is hospital. There is a hospital next to the road that has capability to hospitalize people and take care of them in case of emergencies. So next po. Cycle route. So this sign tells us the direction where cyclists are allowed. In all other direction, it may not be safe to ride cycle. So kanisha guys, makita na to ni even in CDO, like naan na mga cycle routes or kanang sa DV bitaw sa Veles, naan na naka-indicate na naka-indicate na cycle route or only cycles or mga bikes ang allowed uh, na, na mo use pero usually apil ang jeepneys man dere sa Philippines. So the next one is dead end. The road in direction of red mark on the sign will end shortly. If you are moving in that direction, then take detour to keep going in that direction. So that end means like wala na kay what they road sa unahan. So you should take a detour na. So next po. So here are other informative signs po nga wala na ko na include pero possible yapo niya. So makita niyo na comfort room, picnic area, ferry boat. End of freeway, katong ganina na mention hospital, priority to this direction, like especially to emergency vehicles, uh, no through road, one way and parking. Next slide po. So material requirement, sign panels for warning, regu regulatory and informative signs are manufactured from aluminum sheeting of at least 3 millimeter in thickness. The reflective sheet used for road signs consists of spherical lens elements embedded in transparent plastic having smooth flat surface with protective pre-coat adhesive which are pressure sensitive for manual application or tack-free heat activated for mechanical vacuum heat application. The minimum brightness value of the reflective sheet compared to magnesium oxi oxide should be accord accord in accordance with Table 10-2. The brightness of the reflective sheet when totally wet by rain should not be less than 90% of the given value. So next po. 
So number one, the reflective sheeting. The reflective sheeting should be flexible to permit application and adhesion to moderately embossed surface. So iyang gipasabot ani is ang reflective sheeting na iyus sa informative signs should be flexible para uh, mopilit ang adhesion na iyus. So the next number two is the sheeting should be solvent resistant, capable of withstanding cleaning with petrol, diesel, fuel, mineral spirits, turp turpentine or methanol. It should be weather resistant without discoloration, cracking, blistering, peeling, or any dimensional changes. So, kani siya guys, dapat paka withstand daw siya og any weathering or chemicals para makeep ang signs intact. So, the next one is the sheeting must show no cracking or reduction in reflectivity after dropping a 25 millimeter diameter, diameter steel bar from a height of 2 meters into its surface. Number four, the adhesive should permit the reflective sheeting to adhere accurately 48 hours after application of 90 degree temperature. Next slide po. Um, uh, excuse mo na ha. Ah, yes. I think the meeting is about to end. So, um, maghimos ako bago and then you continue your report. Ah, yes ma'am. Okay, ipadjoin sila ta sila. I-end sila ako na. Continue na. Adumol po. Padunggan ko. Steph, padunggan ko, Steph. Kaya medyo hinay mo ko internet. Di na ko makita nga. Gablink akong blue na indication sa audio. So, next slide. So, this slide po is morning standard na set for reflective brightness of traffic sign surface. So, pani siya. So, if Nara ang indicated colors like red, white, yellow, blue. The angle of incidence sa second column and in the third column, angle of divergence. And kanipod ang fourth column is the minimum reflective brightness value compared with magnesium oxide man yata siya, MGO. So next slide po. So placement of signs. The position of individual signs depends upon its purpose and circumstances peculiar to its location. If possible, location should be standardized. Positioning provides another set of cues to motorists. So the manual recommend the right positions for all situations to wit. Like katong mentioned ganina ni, ni Juliana earlier siyang reports, like you should be you should be mindful in placing the signs. Like baklaro ba siya, makita ba siya, or Iyang size is ano ba suitable ba like dako ra ba kay siya or gamay ba siya so mo to siya gani nagi pang mentions ang mga standards na i-follow to make those informative signs so next slide po next slide so placements of signs so warning regula regulatory and advisory signs for rural roads are mounted 1.8 to 3.6 meters from the sign, 1.5 meters or more above the roadway. So, morning height sa iyahang ano, sa sign, sa informative sign. So, on high-speed roads, warning signs are posted as much as 450 meters ahead of the hazard. So, 50 meters ahead, gibutang na ang sign. So, you uh, you will know na 450 meters ahead, you will bump those hazards. So, na na kay idea nga na hazard 450 meters ahead. So, for number three, Ay. Ah, okay, okay. So, number three, rural roads warning signs distance should be placed about 350 meters and 75 meters in the urban areas. For number four, a horizontal clearance not less than 60 centimeters between the curb face near the edge of the sign. Of the sign, a minimum height of 2.10 meters above the curb is prescribed where vehicles may park along the curb. So, next is sign positioning must fall within the driver's field of view so that the drivers may not be looking away from the roadway. So, kato siya, like, it should, the placement should be, ano, like, suitable, like, di, dapat, well, ano, ang makita ang signs without the driver looking away from the roadway. So, it should be positioned that way para uh, less accidents. So, the next one is, if the signs are not illuminated, they must appear in the headlight to be effective, effective at night. So, if they are not neon colored or kanang dili yudhayag ang color sa signs, 
it should be placed where kung masigang headlights sa cars, like makita siya diretso sa mga drivers. So that's all, all for my report po. Next. Ay. So hello, good afternoon everyone. So next slide please. Next slide. Next slide. Wala pa na siya job gig report. Ay. Ayo. Sorry, sorry, naglag ko. So, traffic signals. Traffic signals is defined as all power-operated traffic control devices except flashers, signs, and markings for directing or, or warning motorists, cyclists, or pedestrians. So, each of the different types of signals ser serves as one or more of the following functions. So, first niyang uh, function is to provide orderly movement of traffic. So, muna yung traffic signals kay wala be signalage kay kana para smooth gid bitaw ang dagat sa tong traffic ug malikay pud sa ining uh, anomalies or kanang mga accidents so tos. next is increase the traffic handling capacity of intersections so moto gi mga panaganiya so reduce the frequency of certain types of accident and fourth is the coordinate traffic under conditions of favorable signal spacing so that it flows nearly continuously at definite speed. So, para smooth again ang dagan bitaw consistent lang. So, fifth is the interrupt heavy traffic to permit crossings, crossings by other vehicles or pedestrians. Next is control the traffic lane use. So, para makagamit tanan sa traffic lane. Um, provide ramp control at freeway entrances. So, manang Kailangan po nga, uh, kailangan na ito grab control kayo para ma-fund yun. Mamahan ay. And next is, interrupt traffic for emergency vehicles and at, and at movable bridges. So next slide please. So the belief of laymen and public officials that traffic signals could provide solution to all traffic problems has led to the numerous and successful installments of traffic signals. So, manang belief yun sa, di ba sa, halos sa ito ang, uh, Manang na ay traffic signals kay para masolusyonan ang problema which is uh, not ganang directly true gid bitaw the, the unfortunate results of unplanned installations of traffic signals are first is the excessive delay of to motorists and pedestrians so mo na siya nga um, permit delay ganang permit dito nga um, wala wala bitaw tapos this would be this disobedience to signal indications and other particular installations so manang kanang dili to ka to so, pagsabot na ni kanang dili ka follow gid bitaw manang uh, dili gid ko nang traffic kanang sahay kay kanang dili masunod gid na mga kanina na sahay mga gayud mga ulo and, and, tapos diversion of traffic to less advantageous and undesirable routes and fourth is the increased accident frequency like rear end collisions and pedestrians so man na pay mga accident sa tao Signs and directions are enforceable only if they are installed under legal authority. Model legislations is found in the Uniform Traffic Laws and Ordinances. So, nagitay ka ng kung ka ng mga enforceable yun bito ang mga laws na under sa legal authority. Kani mga signs and directions. Next slide, please. So, traffic signals are classified into two types. So, ang first is the pre-time pre signals where traffic time intervals are divided to the various traffic movements. Then, ang second is traffic activated where time intervals are controlled as a whole or in part by traffic demands. So, modern signals are electrically operated. So, kani kay na may kanang mamatayan po nato kani ko muna makini nga na mga signals gyud nga kani bitaw ang electrical na gyud bitaw kani kay kan pod para paspas gyud na gyud bitaw atong kanaran ang ay para smooth gyud ang dagat sa traffic pa so modern signals are electrically operated individuals individual units have separate red yellow and green lenses with 20 or 30 cm diameter each has its own light light sources so mato sya kanang Common kayo, red, yellow, and green. The 30 centimeter lens is specified for intersections where 85% speed exceeds 60 kilometers per hour for all arrow applications and for problem locations. 
signals pedestal or brackets are mounted outside the roadway limit. Sometimes they are suspended above the intersection. The intersections, the cables, mast arm, or other support. Next slide, please. <coughs> so, mounting specifications. The recommended height for post-mounted signals from the bottom of the housing is 2.40 to 4.50. So, moto siya ang one, standard between sa 2.4 and 4.5 meters above the sidewalk or crown of or pavement. If there is no sidewalk, kung wala sidewalk. The minimum mounting height is 1.35 meters. So, so good anang sa 1.35 meters, kimo na ginasya ang standard. Tapos, the minimum and maximum vertical clearance, clearance for signal suspended over the roadway is 4.50 and 5.75 meters respectively. Tapos, fourth is for each through movement, two or more signal display of faces visible to approaching traffic is prescribed. This is to give the driver following immediately behind trucks a chance to see the signal indication as they approach in the intersections. So next slide, please. So signals must be visible to approaching vehicles with a distance ranging from 30 meters for an 85 percent speed of 30 kilometers to 110 meters for 90 kilometers per hour. So muna kita sa standard tapos. Where a continuous view of at least two signal faces are blocked by physical objects, warning sign is required. So, muna gana siyang na uh, kailangan nagidog warning sign. So, na magatubang gibita ang faces yuda. Uh, na maka na 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 block ba. So, for an excessive turning lane, one signal face is required. So, kailangan isara where sunod kay is where signal must be interrupted. Fast moving traffic and expressways, the common practice is to install three or four signal face on each approach. So, expressways, di ba kay ka ng kwan na magayna ka ng grabi na gaydura ka bisi sa kinanga na gaydura ka install of three or four signal faces. So, under special conditions like heavy pedestrian movement, school cro crossing, midlock crossing, and special rectangular pedestrian walk, the don't walk sig signs with either words or symbol message is extremely necessary. So, muna gano'n siya nga, kailangan nagid o kanyang signs sa kanay na bitawang heavy, kanang bugat na gid bitaw kayo. Meaning, kanang dagan na kayo, kanang katabok ba? Sa muna tayo kanang sample sa schools, kay dagan na magkaganda ang mga students. So, muna gano'n siya ang kailangan nagid o na i don't look sign. So, for non-intersection pedestrian crossings, two signal faces for vehicles are required, augmented by signs, pavement, markings, and Parking restrictions. So, kailangan na siya of two signal faces. So, next slide, please. So, positive meaning of each color. So, kini common na magiging na sa tatanan. The steady circular green kay go. So, ang vehicle ana kay meaning ani pwede siya makaproceed dito sa yung patagan. Ano. Kung solid red so solid red light kay stop so mo nagay na siya ang kailangan din mag stop o magulat ka sa green nga map here ha modagan balik so flash red means an arterial stop sign so stop ya pun flash red flashing yellow means proceed with caution so kung pasabot aning yellow kay di ba kay green man gikan kung makakita na kag yellow pasabot ana kay half dol na mag green so Para safe gina na, kwan yung kana, kwan yung magpahinahinay na gid bitaw. Kayo kwan naman siya, with caution naman. Tapos the use of steady yellow for caution is prohibited except as warning between green and red indication. Next slide please. Location of signals. A distance of 12 to 36 meters beyond the top line for typical right angle inter intersection far side by... Mast arm or cable suspended location. So, kanang mast arm kay kabantay mo, na kanang sa kilid, bitaw nga kanang mara straight yung uh, poste, baka gaana bitaw sa mga sa one mast arm. Ano, kailangan din na siyang uh, nakabandang ga. So, so not yun, if both signals are post-mounted, install on the far side, install in the far side, one of the right and the other on the left or median. So, na sa both, sa murang. The angle between the driver's normal sight direction, either of the signal faces, should not be more than 20 degree angle. So, nalit siya ka ng desired angle. 
the uniform vehicle code prohibit prohibits illuminated advertising signs that interfere with the effecting effectiveness of traffic control devices the manual recommended that local government legal authority should prohibit them so so magsabot ani kay kana bitaw na sahay kay kanang maka disrupt bitaw kanang illuminated ang mga advertising so magsabot ani kay nang mga bray siya kanang silo gid bitaw so sa ako pagsabot siguro ani kay usay kay malipat siya ba na maka maka disrupt gid bitaw siya nay sa kay basin ma ma distract sila sa kuan sa pagtara sa sign so muna git ko ibit siya so next please So kini uh, the following tables kay kining table 16 uh, sorry table 10-3 is the partial data on recommended roadside installation practices so muna siya ang kining mga standards dere so ang purpose of design kay example sa kay kining kuan warning of hazard number pas ay number warning of hazard so ang shape dapat niya kay diamond tapos ayang color pod kay black on yellow so uh, minimum din yang dimension is 30 by 30 and so on so anana diya ta sa table mabasa niyo guys so next day yun yung table dere sa right is number of lanes for moving traffic on each approach so dere kay na major street to minor street so kini pa dayan next dere kay minimum vehicular volume for each of any 8 hour per per day so Ang uh, warrant dire kay ang isa dire kay based solely on volume og dire kay warrant for interruption to continuous traffic so ganin kay medyo kaunti ni sa dire nga data dire uh, naka detail na so mo ni what another guys next slide please so signal control a uh, solid state mini processor for intersection Intersection, intersection control must be available. The mini processor receives inputs from detectors and inter, interprets their meaning. Then select the appropriate set of signals from those in the press, press, uh, process, processor's memory bank. These devices can accept thousands of instructions per second and respond very quickly to any changes in the traffic. So, money siya, solid state mini processor. Galangan gyud siya. Grabe na kay na siya ka kuan gyud important. The advanced miniaturization system makes it possible to combine the advantages of pre-timing coordinated movement and traffic actuation in a single or area wide intersections to reduce cost and delay. Today, most detectors consist of wire loops installed under the road surface that register the presence of vehicles to changes in their magnetic fields. A more sensitive series of loops, loops recording the number of vehicles waiting to make a maneuver. Maneuver. Covers and loops are sometimes installed diagonally in part to detect the presence of motorcycles. So, kini so kini siyang koan. Kaning most detectors kay kaning naka-install nito ito under sa dalan kay para po niya makasense po sa koan sa mga motorcycles. Ang muna siya. Yan ko ano Next yung slide. Designing an effective detector system is not easy because the location of detector loops in relation with the stop line depends on the traffic control plan. So, dili gade siya easy button. The detector is sometimes placed at a distance from the intersection where vehicles on the main road are approaching at high speed and expecting to continue through. Another close-in detector is installed to prevent entrapment at the stop line or extend the green line, green signal time. The distance where detectors are installed ranges from 55 meters for 45 kilometers to 135 meters for 90 kilometers per hour speed. So next slide. So cycle length of signals. Number one, ordinarily, the time required for complete sequence of indication fail between 30 and 120 seconds. So, nara na between na 30 and 120 seconds. Mag, ahia pa da yun mag, lay na po nga, nga nang murag, lay na sa nga color ang mo, kaan magsunod. To reduce delay of standing vehicles, short cycle lengths are adapted. However, a relative, relatively high percentage of the total time is consumed in clearing the intersections and starting each succeeding movement. So, kini siya kay mas gina 
adapt na nila ang kaning short cycle kay kabantay man ang kuan ka na bitong para pod brag pattern bito siya kung mas short ang cycle kay kana bitong mas kuan ang traffic ba mas magflow kaysa kay kung mas magdugay man gud ibara bitong mas tag nang brag makuan ang traffic ba brag mas tagnat bitong kayo sa line nga lanes manang short siya para kuan gid ang para kuan gid tanan ba ang flow dili magdugay a larger cycle increase the percentage of time lost for high volume traffic it is necessary to increase the cycle length to gain additional road capacity so, what was <laughs> approximately one vehicle can pass each traffic lane with normal signalized section in two seconds of green light the yellow interval following the green signal is usually between three to six seconds depending upon the width of the road pedestrian needs and vehicle speed approach so ini pong mga intervals ani nga kuan nila magdepende gud paday nga kuan magbase sila sa factors which is the width of the road pedestrian needs and katong vehicle pod nga speed so magbase magdepende ra gina siya the traffic manual recommended that recommended that the total time al allowed for pedestrians should be at any initial interval of 4 to 7 seconds to start plus walking time computed at 1.20 meters per second. On wide streets, pedestrians may be stopped on medians at least 1.80 meters wide. However, a separate pedestrian signal activator must be installed in this med on this median. The pedestrian push button is incorporated in the overall system. Next slide. So simultaneous coordination. So kini siya ang simultaneous coordination makes all color indications along the street alike at the same time. It produces high vehicle speed between stops but have low overall speed. So kini siya coordination kay meaning kini siya kanang sabay sabay ba so ang quad pod ang ang color pod nila ng indication kay same time rapod kay para kuan ka nga vehicles kay high speed vehicles kay may makaproduce po og high vehicle speed between stops pero maglo lang ang ilang overall speed alternative uh, coordination all signal changes changes their indication at the same time but adjacent signals along the street show different colors so ang auto siya and next sa uh, simultaneous alternative kay sa uh, so adjacent signal along the street can show sa different colors. This is fairly well on a single street that has approximately equal block spacing. It is also effective in controlling traffic in business area, area several blocks on one side, but only when the block lengths are approximately equal in both directions. Siguro kay makumpara na ko ni siya katubit lang dia sa kuan. Anang sample ka nang mag... Panalaga rush hour bitaw ka na bitaw dira sa sa city central bala dapat kana before ka mo agi kay murag mo na siya kung nabantayan na ni na pattern kanang murag equal blocks lang bitaw so para mas makontrol ang traffic kay motong ginabuhat nila katong murag kanang bitong gubantay mo kay pag maggo kay mukha na sa dayon sa pika sa po dayon kay ka murag maga red kana murag dili siya kanang kan ba murag same same so so not is limited coordination retains a common cycle length providing separate go at each intersection to motor traffic progression this gives continuous flow of vehicle group at designated speed in one direction and discourages speeding between signals so discouraging discouraging speeding so more consistent rapot yan siya basta limited kay you know makodo very limited kay ma Next, kay flexible coordination is provided with a master control that commands the controller for the individual signals. The systems give proper coordination between signals and make predetermined changes in cycle length, cycle split, and offsets at intervals during the day. For example, the cycle length for the entire system could be lengthened during peak hours increase the road capacity and shorten, shortening other time to decrease delays so flexible coordination siguro sa ikan ning dingon pa niya nga peak hours dito so unlike di ba kay sa buntag ug sa gabi kay di ba light na ang kuan dito braglay ang 
sampai kena mau komit ke badia pakai murag lai buat sa bunta lai ko sa kabi kan sa kabi kay murag mes medyo kuan ang traffic mas bugat kay mana bena atong ka tik panguli kan ang murag ala sa tanan kay gadre dali nang dito ogan med ta sa kanang sarod kan ang ka komit pa nguban kay gadre gid mo nang dagan tayo next So that's for all. Thank you for listening. We are the group too. Uh, thank you, group two. Uh, your report is um, ano na? Uh, it is well. Uh, the topic is well explained. Also, the uh, specifications and the standardization of our warning signs and yeah. our. Uh, regulatory signs. Uh, sakto to ha, take note nga ang atong mga signs is uh, atong mga signs have sizes. Dili ka pwede magbutang og sizes nga dagko kayo. And especially the warning signs, it should be reflective. The purpose, Ana, is especially at night, um, warning signs should be kuan musiga na sila if maigo sa headlight for it to be visible and uh, ang testing ana ana ay table ganina nga nag-show uh, the result the content sa reflect uh, sa uh, reflective niya the testing is done by the DPWH Materials and Testing Department. Naana sila pusil. Gun type na siya. Na if you are done installing the warning signs lugar sa road, itest na sa DPWH kung makapasar ba sa standards. Ano na siya pusil? Ni mo na uh, isa ka test sa pula, isa ka test sa puti. Dapat nakaabot na siya sa standard nga aboton. Kaya kung dili gali na siya kapasar, Uh, yung contractor nga naghimo ana is inyo na i-replace. Okay, what's the use of reflective warning signs kung dili sa musiga wen? Also the koan, the 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 hey, the uh, the line sa highway na to, the yellow line, the white line. Uh, it also have certain standard when it to their reflectivity. Nanay testing ng inyong ibutang. Ang maintenance sa atong mga reflectory, maintenance sa atong uh, roads is done by the DPWH. Baka bantay mo sa maintenance kung galabay mo sa dalan, ilang uniform is DPWH. If dilit na gani maklaro ang warning signs, It's either replaced or limpyuhan. Kaya di naman na, di naman na siya maklaro through time kay mapuman naman na siya, mapuno naman na siya gabog. And, uh, well, I like the report. Uh, it is well informative kung uh, you are kanang interested to listen. Ang tadagan ninyong natunan. And, uh, If you take lugar your your driver's license, you will take the exam sa LTO. Na ay uh, item sa exam nga ang question is about the warning signs. You as driver should be familiarized. I should familiarize and should know what is the meaning sa mga warning signs nga nasa atong kadalanan. And, dili ka pwede magpabutang ang warning signs kini mga traffic signs na to, mga reflectory signs na to, nga kamukamulang. Kailangan na siya ipananghid. Kay, example, lugar, butangan ako signs nga no parking diri sa atbang sa among balay o kay, na may sikig parking diri. Dili na pwede. Masita mo na sa LTO. Ah, uh, Ipananghid ba po na sa inyong LGU? It's either LGU or CT. And then, 
sila ang mufanda na if either approve uh, the approving agency will provide you with budget para makapahimo mo sa kuan makapahimo mo sa science dili pwede nga kamo kamo lang and uh, when it comes to traffic signals ah uh, yes um lisod ang pag-study in designing asa ibutang ang traffic light uh, na ay go na ay office karon nga nagcontrol sa atong traffic light system which sometimes dili na to masabtan kay kung rush hour gani usahay na kaon ang traffic light and then na apoy rush hour nga ginapalo ang traffic light di ba so makakos either sa traffic congestion or makaluag sa traffic congestion uh, Yes, ug diri sa ato ah. Kung makita gani nato nga naka-orange ang traffic light meaning wala na gagana, di ba? Mo na atong mo na atong implication which uh, we don't know kung unsay ilang mga rules o unsay ilang mga tanang ginabasihan lugar. <laughs> ginabasihan lugar nga nung ilang ginapalong ilang ginapalo ang traffic light. Uh, we also have RTA to assist man when it comes to traffic light. Pero <laughs> yes, RTA. Uh, dili nato ma-control ang di na kay nato uh, matagaan og solusyon ang traffic congestion sa city. Ang isa nga ginatutukan sa si DPWH is to make diversion roads. Kay dili naman nato pwede ma-widen ang atong highway, ang atong mga city streets kay wala na i setback nga botangan ang mga business establishment. Ang road nga naa sa atong city karon labaw nagpadulong kag Divisoria, padulong ka og around ah uh, Kugon Kibali, mo na nang dala na. Uh, we don't know sa future on sa una pero ang setback sa mga business establishment is very small na ay mga improvement karon sa national highway di ba nag setback na pud ang mga business establishment kay giluwaga na atong highway kung dili rush hour okay ang traffic sa iya okay ang wala siya congestion pero pag rush hour gani wala ano gyud ta city na city gita and uh, we don't know the, the ano we don't know pa noon but in 10 years from now luaga na sad ang atong main highways pero asa na pud nato ibutang ang atong mga business establishment na ba na naman po yung new policy karon nga you are not uh, dili ka ma-approve sa imong building when you apply for building permit kung wala kay saktong setback and you have no space for parking. Kung sa una kung ta nila nag implement arang-arang ra siguro. Karon pa man, kay kailangan, kailangan ka makakuha building permit for you to have your business permit. Kung step. So, arang-arang siya karon bago implementation. And also, hawid po na siya sa mga ga-encode ng government officials na to. If they are strict on implementing, maarang-arang raban siya. Pero lisod lagi, pangitaan po o parking ang mga sakyanan ng wala designated areas. Pwede po ta mag-coding. Uh, which is makatraffic mong Japan. So, kana, kana lang. Um, na ay warning signs in traffic regulatory to help the commuters, to help us, na uh, we will have smooth flow sa atong dalan. Mostly warning signs, kaning gidiscuss sa group 2, is visible sa kadalanan. Wala sa waterways, ana, wala sa airways. Ana. They have different signs sa aviation and sa maritime. Mostly, ani na agit sa dalan. 
and uh, as drivers ka sa so karon na na ibang drive naman so be careful be careful and unta inyong sundon ang mga signs because tungod kay Pinoy ta na iuban nga dili na gina disregard na ang traffic signs tungod tiga dali lagi di ba so if you have further questions you can raise kay ma-answer man sa atong kuan reporter uh, thank you group 2 inyong report so no questions I will give you your PIT, ha? PIT for midterm. PIT for midterm is a compilation of uh, signs and signals, regulatory warning signs, either traffic signs present within the city. Suruyan ninyo ng kagayan. Compilations of signs nga present within the city 100 pieces 100 pieces and i want actual pictures dili pwede nga search lang sa google ha a picture uh, where is it located asa uh, na siya na locate and what is the meaning of the sign and what it's and what it is, what is its purpose meaning okay lang magbalik-balik as long as lahi okay. lang a location ah, okay okay ha ah, wala ma'am ah, okay lang magbalik-balik as long as pwede sa isa oh yes pwede pwede gano pwede Balag daghan, basta kay maklaro lang siya. Okay lang with wala okay lang without your faces. Basta kay actual pictures lang. Within the city. Balag lima, balag five pictures with uh, five pictures sa isa ka papel. A4 and then softbound. Okay ha, A4 and softbound. It will be submitted next uh, next Friday after the exam. So, 21 man yung exam. So, submit it by 28. Uh, so, naapatay third reporter ha. Uh, please prepare your slides, third group. Proceed ta. Group 3. <laughs> Malaagay din yung kagayan. Start na naman. Okay, start. Okay. So, 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 good day everyone. We are the Group 3 and today we're going to enumerate some of the Philippine agencies involved in traffic, transportation, regulation and development. Next. Kim. Thank you, Manny. Good day. Maklaro kong tingog. Odili. Maklaro, maklaro. Ah, so, 
The next, the so, DOTR, or Department of Transportation. The DOTR is the primary agency responsible for the planning, implementation, coordination, and regulation of all transportation system and infrastructure in the country. It oversees various modes of transportation, including land, air, sea, and railways. Next. So LTO, or Land Transport Transportation Office. The LTO is responsible for the registration and licensing of motor vehicles, drivers, and conductors. It also enforces traffic rules and regulations and public roads, including, oh, including the issuance of traffic violation tickets. Sorry, in a grand answer. So school. Next, Nakim. So for the LTI, LTFRB, um, Land Transpor Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board, the LTR. LTFRV is in charge of regulating and supervising public land transportation services such as buses, taxis, jeepneys, UV express vans, and transport net network vehicle services like Grab and Uber. So, ang LTFRV kay in charge sa mga mag-regulate or mag-supervise sa mga public land transportation such as ang buses, taxis, or jeepneys. Next. Next scheme. So next is the MMDA, Metropolitan Manila Development Authority. So the MMDA is responsible for the management and coordination of traffic in Metro Manila, which includes traffic flow planning, implementation of traffic rules, and the establishment and maintenance of traffic signals and signs. So sa Metro Manila kay MMDA man, so sa to diri sa Cagayan is RTA. Ang MMDA is more on kwan lang siya develop, development, while ang RTA kay more on ano, regulations. Next scheme. So, Tool Regulatory Board or TRB. The TRB regulates and supervises the operation of tool facilities and services in the country, ensuring that tool fees are reasonable and fair. It also approves tool rate adjustment and proposed by tool operat operators. So, next slide. Wait lang. Wait lang. Dili mga parikiri na? Dili. Wala siya na full screen. Hindi lang dara mo ito na dyan. CAAP or Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines. The CAAP is responsible for the regulation and oversight of the civil aviation industry in the Philippines. It ensures the safety and security of air transportation, licensing of pilots and aircraft maintenance personnel, and the operation of the maintenance of airports. Next slide, please. Philippine Ports Authority uh, is responsible for the safety and security sa mga barko ng mga gadaong sa port. Uh, the PPA is responsible for the management and development of ports and harbors in the Philippines. It regulates ports operation, ensures ports efficiency and security, and promotes the country, country maritime trade. Next slide. Next slide, Diggs. Thank you. Uh, Philippine National Railway or PNR. The PNR is the state-owned railway operator in the Philippines. It operates the mainline railway system connecting Met Metro Manila and province in the zone. The PN are responsible for the maintenance, rehabilitation, and expansion of railway infrastructure. Pero nai other tong uh, railway railway lines sa Manila ang MRT o LRT. Uh, 
ang meaning sa MRT, Metro Rail Transit System, and the uh, LRT is Light Rail Transit System. Uh, ang mag-provide sila convenient and efficient and affordable affordable way to, to commuters to navigate Metro Manila in its surrounding cities. Next slide, please. So, wait lang ha. Ang mali. Hello. Ah, so, okay so, next. So, next is the the Philippine National Police or the Highway Patrol Group or the PNP or the HPG. So, uh, it is a specialized unit of the PNP that uh, enforces traffic laws and regulation and national highways. It, is, uh, it also conducts and decarnating operations Highway Security Patrol and Motor Vehicle Safety Inspection. So, <clears throat> ang uh, PNP H or HPG is usually magitan natin sa kadalanan nga kanang nag-collaborate dito siya sa, for example, sa Kagayan, sa, sa RTE. So, ang ilang yung muna na kay, especially if kanang marag alarming dito ang, ano, ang terrorism. So, normal, mag-conduct na sila o kining mga, mga checkpoints. And not only that, no, ang Ang ila pong isa ka purpose is kini since dagan man pod ang mga motorist so uh, conduct po sila og kanang traffic enforcement such as kini mga mga violators ila na sila conduct po and also kini sa mga road safety no uh, kanang mga mga galabag sa mga batas sa mga uh, sa mga signs sa mga kuan mga motorist or kanang mga vehicle so uh, apil po na sa scope sa ilang work and kining naapoy times nga kining HPG is kining maragina clear out bitaw nila ang way nga like kining mga mag-convoy sila for like na ay kining uh, na ay example ang, ang resident lugar sa so, imo ani ani nga lugar so ilang imo na na i-clear out nila ang way kay i-priority nila ng mga person and next is kining so, mauto siya ang uh, isa sa purpose sa HPG, no? And next is the Philippine Coast Guard or the PCG, no? This is an armed and uniformed service under the OTR that performs maritime law enforcement, search and rescue, maritime environmental protection, maritime safety administration, and uh, maritime security operations. It is also regulates the movement of vessels in Philippine water. So, uh, usually, madunggan na ito ang Philippine Coast Guard sa kanang, for example, sa kining, uh, kining uh, West Philippine Sea. Na na. So, sa, maroon na ito madunggan sila. Pero, uh, included Japan sa ilang scope sa work is kining mga traffic management with sa coastal areas. No? Since, kining uh, kanang mag, kung na sila mga uh, ensure nila ang mga safety sa movement sa mga vessel sa ito kanang sa mga uh, sakinan nga mga naman dyan yung mga sakinan na mag uh, dalun sa mga ports inana so and also kining mana siya uh, traffic management also uh, road safety in the coastal areas so kanang ginatil at gapon na nila para po sa safety sa tao and also uh, one of the purpose po sa PCG is kining sa Meaning when mag arise ang uh, disaster response po just like ng mga baha ana uh, sa near sa coastal areas no mag uh, magkuan sila ng direction sa mga tao para po uh, ang travel or ang um, mode of transportation is in uh, dili sa hassle kita so so next is the uh, DPWH no or the uh, Department of Public Works and Highways. No? As the engineering and construction arm of the government, it is the DPWH which takes care of planning and implementing infrastructure projects um, uh, such as the construction of national roads and bridges. Uh, it is also involved in the maintenance of national roads while lo 
local rules or under jurisdictions of local government units. So, ang um, means kwan man kini uh, ang DPWH is mag-involve o kini uh, sa roads or sa maging mo sila para sa modes of transportation, no? Uh, it is um, responsibility of DPWH like itong mga traffic signs, apil lang siya, so ilan ang scope sila ng words, oh, mga traffic signs, pag-create sa roads, para po uh, ma-lessen ang kaning traffic sa isa ka lugar, maging mo sila kinindalan para po uh, ma-reach po ang other destinations. No? And uh, isa lang siya sa ginatawag na road planning and design, so muna lang mo mo, mga dalan, and also uh, road construction maintenance, no? if may mga uh, nadaot na dalan, so ilalas silang i-repair para po smooth ang flow sa transportation and uh, uh, muna, road regulations and standards, mga standards sa, sa road, sa mga traffic signs, mga uh, kanang, kanang for the sake of safety sa kaning sa mga tao. And katong tulong ako ang ipanginigin niya, the HPG, the uh, Philippine Coast Guard and DPWH, na they are working together para po uh, mas reliable ang transportation across sa Philippines. So next. So, good afternoon. Next is the Maritime Industry Authority or Marine. So, if not a uh, LTO or LTFRB, not a uh, Marina, Marina nga kwan siya counterpart ana. So, in terms siya sa uh, Marine or sa water transportation. So the Maritime Industry Authority or Marina is a government agency in the Philippines responsible for the development, uh, promotion, and regulation of the maritime industry in the country. So the main objectives of Marina are to guarantee the, um, the efficiency, safety, and security of maritime transportation as well as the preservation of the marine environment. So, ga-advocate po sila in terms sa pag uh, sa development sa marine resources. So, dili na siya about development and regulation. I I mean, under yun siya sa development, so na ano siya, ano, preservation of marine envi environment. So, it is in charge of a number of maritime related matters, uh, including as the licensing and control of seafarers, ships, and shipping firms. So next. So next we have uh, the Civil Aeronautics Board or CAB. So again, the LTO or LTFRB or the Marina na counterpart sa um, aeronautics or sa aviation, which is uh, CAB. So in the Philippines, the Civil Aeronautics Board, um, an agency of regulation charged with monitoring and controlling air travel, assuring safety, encouraging fair competition, defending consumers' rights, and supporting uh, the development of the aviation sector in the nation. So it was uh, un uh, created under the RA number 766 or the Philippine Civil Aeronautics Act and is managed by the uh, Department of Transportation. So nag-collab siya sa DOT, aning uh, agency. So also uh, their objective is to help uh, enhance the growth and development of air transport connectivity in the Philippines, uh, which ensures the adequacy of air services, provide passenger protection through sound policies and regulation, um, both um, locally and uh, internationally. Yeah, so next. So lastly is the National Telecommunication Commission or the NTC. So the National Telecommunic Telecommunications Commission, uh, it is uh, an agency responsible for regulating the nation's radio communications, telecommunications, and broadcast, which includes cable televisions or CATV, facilities and services, as well as performing some somewhat judicial duties in this regard. So, importante kaayo ang NPC because um, without this, um, the officers that are na nasa sa top the PHG, sa mga other regulatory agencies, 
So without this, dili sila makarelay sila mga information about traffic, about traffic and transportation. So with this organization outcome, it promotes a healthy, competitive public trans uh, telecommunications and broadcast environment, fostered and safety in maritime. So dili rasha about sa land. So pati pod maritime and aeronautical navigation ensured resulting to public safety and satisfaction. So that would be all and thank you so much. Thank you uh, thank you group 3. So kana no uh, dili pwede ya atong mode of transportation is not under government agencies kailangan ta og regulatory kailangan ta og agency nga mo control mohatag og laws mohatag og rules when it comes to our transport kay kung wala ay na mag-away ta mag-away-away ang tanan uh, we should have rules especially kung pila ang fare labaw na sa uh, issue na gani na di ba kung uh, kung gama ay kung muda ko ang pliti, uh, mo reklamo, mo gamay. Na. Uh, there is a government agency that study and implement such rules. So, naa ang DOTR. Um, DOTR is um, naa sa iya ang hawid on our transportation. Mo regulate and mo control na siya. But when it comes to planning ya po na sila, but when it comes to implementations, CDP gid ang gasalo ana. Mostly funded is CDPWH ang dako. And uh, si LTFRB, daghan gid ha, daghan government agencies. LTFRB dili ka makabiyahe like the Grab, the Uber, the buses, uh, the taxis, dili ka, di na sila makabiyahi kung they are not approved the, sa LTFRB. Example, mo business kag taxi. Gusto ka magpaabang o taxi. Ay, para magka-income ka. Wala ka nagatog LTFRB. You are charged for violation, Anagyot. You have to apply for franchising. Kay mo man ang purpose sa LTFRB, dili mo overcrowd ng atong dalan. And penalty for not having fr franchise, like sa ABCBN, di ba? Wala sila, kay wala sila yung Kung wala kay franchise sa imong, like the Grab, the Uber, expire ganyan na ilang prangkisa, dako kay na silang mabayaran. So, LTFRB ang mo-control, Ana. And sa LTO and HPG, once man dakop na sila, uh, same lang ang issue. Same lang ang issue nga ticket. Kay they are working hand in hand, they are in coordination uh, ng government when it comes to regula regulation. The LTO, the LTFRB, the HPG, kuan na na sila, pag-regulate na sa traffic sa atong roadways. Designing implementation is na sa DP. Alright, so kana siya. Important po si NTC, yes, kay naa sa iya ang communication sa maritime aviation o sa road. So, um, thank you group 3. You explained well the topic. And please remember na the topic and the questions for the midterm exam will be taken sa reports. And mag-meet ta karong Wednesday, kay naa pa tayo topic i-discuss. And unta makakita mo classroom. Kay mo face to face ta. Ha? Unta mo face to face ta. Okay, we will be discussing about the build, build, build project. Sa past administration ni Duterte. Na ginakontinue ka ron. And then we will discuss the steps in transportation planning. Ha? Class rep please ko. O classroom. Ah. PM ka. Two minutes na lang mag-end na ang call. So, di na ko mag, di na ko mag make og another, ha? Uh, and group, group ko ang, uh, group presentations, 
Kasi pwede ninyo ma-send bitaw sa GC. Kung dili makaya tungod kay large file, pwede siya mabutang sa kwan, sa papel, then make it PDF, then attach sa group. Google Drive na. Or, ha? Google Drive. Google. Pwede ra mag-compress mag og PDF ba? Sige, kung manabahala, basta kay uh, give us copy. Okay? So, thank you for uh, listening on ta um, nakatuon mo and then see you next meeting. We will discuss pa more topics. Okay? Thank you, thank you everyone. Okay, God thank bless. You, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.